like I needed to get back in this kitchen and whip us up a dessert. Do y'all like lemon? I like lemon anything. So I'm going to make a semi-homemade, and that's unusual for me. I don't usually use mixes. Lately I have, hadn't I? We're going to make a delicious, moist lemon cake. So I'm going to bring y'all over here to the booze block where you can watch me mix it, and we'll get it in the oven, and it cooks about 20 minutes. Then we'll be ready to have dessert. I'm going to get my cake mix in the bowl, and I'm just going to mix it with my whisk. I don't think I'll have to get my hand mixer out. And I don't know if I told you or not, but it's instant pudding, not the kind that you have to cook. And my cake mix had pudding in it, but I'm still going to put this package of lemon pudding in there. And I'm just going to kind of whisk that around. Get that pudding all mixed in with my cake mix. I'm going to add my oil and my milk. And I've got four eggs, and you, you want to beat them a little bit ahead of time so they'll be kind of incorporated. You won't have to worry about them mixing up or not in your batter. This is going to cook at 350. Oh, we're going to try about 20 minutes. I'll check it and see. It may take a little longer. Use the spatula now to scrape the bottom and make sure there's no dry powder in there. It's kind of a thick batter, but it should be rich because it's got uh, four eggs in it. Okay, I'm going to put it in my pan. I pammed my pan. With cooking spray. Pam's a a name. Mine's actually from Costco, the Kirkland's brand kitchen cooking spray. And I'm just going to spread him around in here. Doesn't that look pretty? It's so bright yellow. Looks like springtime. I guess lemon and caramel are two of my favorite flavors. Okay, I've got my oven on 350. I'm going to get the cake in right quick and I'll bring y'all back when While it's done. While the cake's baking, I'm going to go ahead and mix up the um, <clears throat> the glaze. I've got two cups of powdered sugar, two tablespoons of melted butter, two tablespoons of milk, and I'm going to put a third of a cup of organic lemon juice. And it's just a, a thin glaze, so don't think you've got too much or too little of this or the other. It has to be pourable, and you want it to be thin enough that it'll soak down into that cake and make it real moist and yummy. Okay, I've got my glaze ready. I've got my skewer here, and I'm going to use the rounded end because it'll poke a bigger hole than the pointy end. I'm just going to put a gazillion little holes in it and pour the glaze on it when it comes out of the oven. But I'll bring y'all along for that activity so you'll know how to poke something when you want to. Okay, y'all, I've got the cake out of the oven and it's piping hot. I used my cake tester and it came out clean. So I'm going to make some little punches with my skewer here. Just... Now this is my powdered sugar, milk, lemon juice, and melted butter. Ooh, and it's lemony. It tastes so good, y'all. Y'all, 
Now we want it all over the top and to go down in those holes as much as it will. Now I'm going to let it completely cool and I'll come back and show y'all. Get all that goodness out that I can. Okay, we'll be back in a little bit when it cools enough to cut it. Okay, you can see the stuff has soaked in, but it's still pretty warm, so I'm going to let it cool a little bit more. Y'all, this cake is absolutely delicious. You could sprinkle a little powdered sugar on the top, but I don't want to do anything that will take away from the tartness of the lemon. It's delicious. Kind of squishy where the stuff stuck, went down in there. This one's very easy. Just put on your grocery list your box of pudding and your cake mix. You should just about have everything else that goes in it. Now I want y'all to try this and let me know when you try it. Tell me if you liked it as good as I do. I just love lemon. I'm going to get this kitchen cleaned up. And I'm going to sit down with a cup of tea and eat the rest of this piece of cake and figure out what I'm going to do next for y'all. I hope y'all keep coming back to the kitchen. I sure am enjoying showing you some of the stuff I enjoy cooking. Use it on your family and see how they like it. Start a tradition at your house. Every Easter we have that lemon cake that I learned off of YouTube. You know, do something that they can look back on and say, I remember the first time I had that, blah, blah, blah. Memories and and occasions are important. Put your family first after the good Lord and um, you know do what you know you're supposed to do. Behave yourself. Enjoy life but do it in the right way. The good Lord bless y'all. Come back here in the kitchen in a day or two and we'll do something else good.